I'm Dusty, and I want to take you on an adventure. Located 15 miles east of Vanderbilt, Michigan, Lost Lake is one in a chain of sinkholes that dot the area. Sinkholes are caused by water dissolving soluble rocks further underground. When those rocks dissolve, the roof caves in. If rainwater or natural springs can't get out, you have a sinkhole lake. A friend of mine, Bernie Hellstrom, suggested we go out exploring. This has been on his list for quite some time, and when he told me about it, I was really interested. We loaded up the vehicles with all of our diving gear and exploration tools and set out to meet our new friend Will and his family who acted as our mountain goats and camera crew for the dive. This is one of the toughest dives I've done due to the location and all the equipment needed, but when I saw the lake I was hooked and pretty much willing to do whatever it took to explore it. This area was nearly clear cut over a hundred years ago and would have looked like a giant prairie with only a few trees left over after the logging boom of the 1800s. American author Ernest Hemingway used to camp and fish in the area in the 1920s. Back then it was known as the Pine Barrens and he would have seen it just as the forest was beginning to take over again. After countless trips down and countless questions from the crew, we were ready to suit up and begin our adventure. And while we didn't know what to expect once we got into the water, we did know that it was going to be cold. With a bottom temperature of just 44 degrees, we pulled on our dry suits and thick undergarments to keep us warm. And by the time everyone was ready, we were plenty warm and ready to hit the water. After a quick pre-dive brief, everyone took their places and we jumped in. <laughs> 